the Lord is good. And let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for this life program. I mean, divine clue for the youth. We thank you for the thoughts speak that we are considering. And we thank you for the way you are behaving us. Father, be magnified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Today, Lord Jesus, use me again to speak to your children. And let us be blessed together in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are welcome to this program. And my name is Pastor Daniel Abiola Afuapwe Ibukunjisu. And last week, I made up to understand the attributes of the wise youth. And I gave all 10 points, which is attributes of wise youth. And I promised that this week, I'm going to come up with another 10 points, which is attributes of the wise youth. And as you are listening to this message, I pray that the Lord God Almighty God will minister to you beyond my voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. And that attribute will be able to inculcate it, I mean, allow it to work for you. And it shall work for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. My dear youth, we need not to follow the path of criminality. We need not to be begging order. We need not to be committing evil before we can become somebody in life. I told her last week that you carry something to this world. There's something called glory upon your life. There's something called anointing upon your life. There's something come divine gift, talent in you. And if you want to materialize it, you have to follow your ideas and an attribute that you must inculcate, that you must put in you, that you must allow to function in you. When that attribute begins to function in you, you'll be able to do what? To manifest what you bring, you brought to this world according to the will of God and you manifest it in the name of the Lord Jesus. So, a part of the, the ten I mentioned, another attribute of wise youth, which is number 11, is that they move with friend like-minded. They move with friend like-minded. So, if you are a wise youth, you must be selective in your friend. You can't just be going with anybody. No, you must have a friend that has the same mind with you. A friend that is going in the direction you are going. A friend that is risen the way you are risen. A friend that will charge you to press forward, not in the evil way, but in a good way. So, that thing must be in your mind. That must be something uh, like a when you see Daniel, Daniel worked with three Hebrews, and three Hebrews, they have like minded with Daniel, and that's the reason why they are exceptional in their words, in their generation. If we got to the point that the king confessed that they are ten times better than all the youth in the land, then so you must move with a friend of like minded. You must move with a friend of like what? Like minded people that are with you. What is the relationship between the light and darkness? No, there's no relationship with them. So you must have a friend that go in your direction. You must have a friend that knew what you knew, that is that is charging you regularly, that make you to press forward. You must take note of that. And number 12, uh, an attribute of what? Of wise youth. They, they always prioritize their things. They don't do anything anyhow. No, they know the right action that they need to take at a point of time. They don't do anyhow. They, don't, they are not just moving anyhow. No, they think deep. They have already put all their program in down. They know the one that's very important and they know the one that is not important. Like when we are in, we are in, in, in a secondary school, in economics, they, they talk all about the scale of preference. You know, the scale of preference, you have to think your need. You know, the most press need put down at number one. The same thing as is, is one of attributes of what of wise youth. Wise youth, they also prioritize, prior, sorry, prioritize their things. They want to follow it the way it should be. They don't want to do what will not have value to their life. They do the first thing at, at the right, the right thing at the right time in order to achieve their goal in life. And number 13, they are not uh, they are not easy to conform to the culture, tradition, style, or slang. <clears throat> they are not just like that. They are not like that. No, 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 no. Except they have, they had an, uh, uh, a conviction, personal conviction within themselves. They can't just because uh, my friend is wearing this cloth, I want to wear that cloth. Because my friend is talking like this, yo, man, yo, no, 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 no. And, and an exceptional youth, a youth, uh, um, a wise youth, they don't just act like that. They are not easily to conform to culture, tradition, not all slang, no, or environment, what is happening in the environment. No, because they are distinctive. No, I told you last week that one of the attributes of, 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 of white youth is they maintain their uniqueness 
in any situation that is exactly that this one is backing it up they are not easy conform they can't just conform to anything that people are doing maybe they are dancing with their dread they, they, they are dying different kind of dancing now no they want to begin to that 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 no they present their thing and they are not easy to conform to what to culture to tradition to style or to slang or to any kind of dress or what's going on mm -mm. that's the part of attribute of the wise youth i know you are a wise youth that is why you are listening to a message like this because many of you many of of your mates they are there washing palm uh sight but you are listening to the word of god you are listening to what you can add value to your life so i know you are no one also you have to buy this idea and begin to practice also so number 14 examination exam many practice is out of their game no they don't want to follow the church court no they want to follow the right direction they want to do the right thing they want to go into the right way that's what we call wise youth that's one of the attributes of them anything they know that church court they don't want no, they know the principle and they want to follow the principle. They want to achieve the right thing at the right time with the right thing. Though they will be able to like them, no, like a Yoruba. When you continue your batch, you go pell away that what you are not work for, you are not struggle for, will not last in your hands. So that is that what I'm doing. So exam and practice is out of their game. Cheating, bribe, like I said, is out of their game. At all. They don't practice at all. And number 15, attributes of the wise youth, they don't procrastinate their action. Mm, they do what they want to do now. They understand that any delay, any, any, any procrastination of the action is an hazard to their fulfillment. They know that it's an hazard and it's a delay to what they want to achieve in life. So they don't procrastinate the action. They do the right thing at the right time. The time for them to read, they read. The time for them to play, they play. The time for them to watch, they watch film or whatever, they watch it. But they, they, they don't just do anyhow. They pro, they don't procrastinate their rightful action. The time for them to read the Bible, they read the Bible. The time for them to pray, they pray. So that's one of attributes. They are disciplined by themselves. Nobody will force them to do anything before they do it. No. They don't procrastinate their duty. They don't procrastinate their action. So please inculcate these attributes into your life also. Don't procrastinate because procrastination is a friend of tomorrow. And tomorrow can never come. When it's tomorrow, it will come. It will, when it's tomorrow, it will become tomorrow. So you must note that. So don't procrastinate your action, your duty. What you need to do? No, oh, I want to watch the clock. I will watch in the next three hours. In the four hours. Mm -mm -mm. They don't do that. That attribute of uh, wise youth, they don't procrastinate their duty. Number 16, they meditate in God's word and their action and the course they are running in the planet. So they what? They, they meditate in God's word and their action. God will correct their action. When they have read the word of God, they meditate in their action. Have I done something wrong? Have I did what is right? So they want to follow. They want to know that they are still in tune as a wise. They are still in tune. They are still pressing forward of fulfilling their destiny on planet. Of fulfilling their purpose on planet, of him bring glory to God. So they are still mind of that. So because of that, they meditate in God's word to correct their mistake. They maintain in their action to discover their mistake. They maintain in their course in order to press forward and in order to adjust. So that's one. Of, that's another attribute of wise youth. And number seventeen, they they, they take criticism as charging tool, not a limitation weapon. That's another problem of many youth. When, when they do something good and people criticize them, they become weak. They become weary. No. Criticism should be a, a tool that will charge you, that will prune you, that will make you to check yourself again. Am I really doing the right thing? What they are saying, is it true? What they are saying, is it right? So, criticism is how to be a tool to charge you to press forward. It has to be a tool that will make you to prune, to prune, I mean, to think deep, to meditate more on your course on planet. So, it should not be a weapon that would, that will weigh you down. But a lot of people, when they, they, they criticize them, they, they do what? They go, they get weary, they get tired, they get weak. No, criticism is part of life. When you are doing something good, expecting people to criticize you, expecting people to be jealous of you. Some people will criticize you because they don't know what you are doing. Some will criticize you because they are jealous in you. And that's the reason why you must not allow criticism to wear you down. Criticism must be a charging tool that make you to meditate more, that make you to think more in order to do what? To come out in another way to achieve what God has given unto you to do.
to achieve God-given friction. So number 18, they welcome other opinion. Mm, they are not uh, island of all of knowledge. No, no. They welcome all that word, all that opinion. They are not rigid. They are ready. They have listening here. That's what I'm trying to say. They have listening here. They all they they they, they welcome other opinion. That's one another attribute of wise youth. But in making decisions, they are very sensitive. When they listen to other opinion and other people's opinion, what this one say, their own opinion, they are now criticizing. Make, uh, sorry, they are now meditating in order to make a rightful decision. Bible say in the multitude of of uh, of advice, their safety. So that is their key. So another attribute of wise youth is that what in the matter is that they welcome other opinion. But, so you must take note of that. And number nineteen, they stand them in their conviction. And faith, and they don't compromise. They stand firm in their conviction. When they have conviction, when those people bring uh, bring a picture into their heart, when those people speak something to them, they stand by that conviction. No matter what comes their way, they stand by the conviction that God has given unto them, or the conviction in that conviction that they have concerned what they want to do. They have that conviction, and they don't compromise their faith. They don't say, mm, because of this, let me bend the rule. No, wise youth will never do that. And lastly, number 20, they are selective in any program they listen to, any program they are going to watch, and any program they are going to attend. That's number 20. That's another attribute of wise youth. They don't just listen to any, 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 any program that pollutes what they carry. That will, that will become a, 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 a poison to, to what they carry. So they so they, they, are, they are so very they are very very careful on what they listen because they know what they listen go deep into their consciousness. They know what they watch pass message into their medulla oblongata. They know that every program that they attend is is liable to influence them. So they are selective on what to watch on TV or what to listen to on radio on the particular thing they listen to. So, but they cherish listening to people that are giving them the right counsel. They are cherish people that are speaking through the word of God. My beloved youth, you have listened to this 20 attributes. I'm begging unto you, please inculcate it, put it into practice. Let me rename the one I mentioned today. They move with with friend like minded. They move with friend like minded, like three Hebrew and Daniel. And number twelve, they always prioritize their team. They don't just do anything anyhow. And number thirteen, they are not easy to conform to culture, tradition, style, slang, or anything in the environment, except when they have had personal conviction within themselves. And number 15, they don't procrastinate their action. They don't procrastinate their duty. They do it at the right time. And number 16, they meditate in God's war and their action also in their cause that they are running on planet. And number 17, they took they take criticism as a charging tool, not as a limitation weapon. Not as what as a limited weapon. And number 18, they welcome other opinion, but they are sensitive in making decisions. They, they stand firm in their conviction, faith, and they don't compromise. And they are selective in program they listen to, program they watch, and a program they attend. My dear youth. You have listened to this, all these attributes. And if you have not listened to the first 10 point I mentioned, you can go and check it on Facebook again in live, uh, live stream video. Just type Daniel Afakwe. It will bring it to you and you watch it and it shall be well with you. Let me pray for you, my dear youth. If you have, in case you have not known Jesus, you need to give your life to Jesus because that's the key of everything. Because when you are coming to this world, you pass through a channel that make you a sinner. That's why the Bible says everyone born by a man of flesh is of flesh. He who born of spirit is of the spirit. 
So through a damaged nation, we are a sinner. And that's why people say, every man has sinned and come to the glory of God. So you need Jesus. And that's why the Bible says, every one of us, we are what? We are workmanship of God. But we need to be recreated in Christ Jesus for the work he has predestined before we come to this world. In order for us to work in that good world, that's Ephesians 2.10. So you must know that if you have not given your life to Jesus, you need to give your life to Jesus because he has come that we have life in abundance. Not that life on this planet alone, but even in age to come for you to reign with him. You, you, are com you are coming from somewhere and you are going somewhere. The place you are going should be heaven, not hell. Hell is not made for man. Hell is made for Satan. who rebel against God in heaven. And God sent him to the world. We are now living in the world and Satan is looking for more people that will gather into hell. I pray you will not go to hell. You need to give your life to Jesus. And how can you do that? Just say, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I have heard your word today and I believe in you. I, I, I know and I believe that you die for me. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth that you are my savior. Today, you have died for me and you have resurrected. Today, write my name in the book of life. Delete my name from the book of destruction. As from today, I will be serving you. Minister to me, and I'll be following you. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you, and shall be well with you. Thank you for what this episode. Next time, I'll see you come to your way. If God, count me and you alive. God bless you.